Hey YouTube, Tyler here with this 2008 CRF 450R. This is my fourth 450, so I'm telling you guys right now, if you guys have any questions about your bikes, please shoot me a message. I will help you out as much as possible. A little bit about the bike, as you can tell, graphics look amazing. Had them all done by DirtDigits.com. Phenomenal company that will do anything you want. You name it, they'll do it. Simple as that. Um, about the motor itself, we'll go from the inside out. I have high compression piston kibble white valves installed stage two hot cam um, the cam by the way and the high compression piston talk about a difference um, of motor a lot more low end as well as um, top end pull it's kind of hard to explain you just have to be on the bike to really feel it I also have a Yoshimura exhaust installed with FMF jetting kit the exhausts open up the motor a lot more um, pulling a little bit more horsepower a lot more top end for me when I'm riding um, along with the uh, exhaust, uh, we installed a Boysen water pump. Keeps the bike a little bit more cool. You actually notice it being a little bit more snappy, which is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if that could just be a mental thing, but I'm just saying. I also upgraded the uh, pegs, brake lever, and shift lever by um, Hammerhead. As you can tell, it's just a lot wider, um, way easier for your boots to grip. And um, especially for myself, I like to hill climb, so you actually stick on the bike, which is great. Um, upgraded the seat as well. The seat is great just for uh, positioning. You can tell there's the hump in there. Uh, it's really good for traction as far as uh, knowing where to sit when you're on the track. You know, coming into those corners really tight. It, the seating is it's really just as important as uh, having a rear tire because depending on where your weight is on the bike, right, justifies how well you're going to take a corner. Um, so that seat does a really great job. Um, I also have the uh, ARC clutch and brake levers so they bend both directions just in case you fall so you don't snap brakes and stuff in a race or anything uh, also upgraded my brake rotors my brake lines to steel braided lines making them a lot stronger cooling um, on these rotors are phenomenal haven't had really any issues haven't had to replace them um, it's been a year now so they're, they're doing pretty good uh, lastly you guys can just see a bunch of cosmetic stuff uh, installed the rg3s actually for my triple clamps uh, phenomenal you guys giving the bars a rise of about two inches extra on top of stock uh, a lot more comfortable don't feel so claustrophobic you're able to jump more uh, like I said I like the hill climb it just kind of gives me a little bit more leverage uh, less pain in the shoulders too which is great uh, lastly about my rims uh, I just I don't have Excel rims they're actually stock rims I decided to spray paint them um, because I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars on rims and then I bought spoke wraps. Spoke wraps are phenomenal, completely changes the look of the bike as you guys can tell. Um, lastly, I also installed the Works Connection radiator uh, protection cover, or you know, protection plates on the sides, as well as um, the plates that will cover up the motor. You never know if you're gonna go trail riding, right? You hit some rocks, you don't wanna crack open your case or anything on your motor. All right, YouTube, well, I'm sorry you can't do a um, sound clip video today. I'll definitely try to do another one. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, please feel free to send me a message, whatever it is, I'll try to help you out. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching.